Starting a new life in the Philippines is a fantastic decision, but with change comes questions. Therefore today, we will be focusing on a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do when starting a new chapter of your life in the Philippines. Stage 1. Find your budget. So the first stage is the most important as it builds the foundation of your journey. Finding the budget essentially means researching and calculating exactly how much you will need when living in the Philippines. On average, most expats spend between $1,500 to $2,000 a month. However, most of the time this does leave a surplus of cash. Therefore, it is possible to live cheaper in the Philippines depending on your location. Aside from the location, your lifestyle in the Philippines will impact your budget. Hobbies, meetups, tours and domestic traveling can all add up. This is why creating a basic budget of how much you will need is always an important step when starting a new life in the Philippines. Stage 2. Arrange flights and visas if necessary. We have covered this step previously so I won't go into too much detail today, but if you're looking for cheap flights in the Philippines it's most definitely recommended to check out this video. Fundamentally, arranging flights and visas at your earliest convenience is often the wisest decision. Stage 3. Locate your funding source. This next step focuses on how you will be getting your money each day. If you have a retirement fund or are receiving income from a business or other sources, how can this be used in the Philippines? Opening a bank account in the Philippines is an option, but if you are transferring large amounts of cash from a traditional bank to the Philippines, you may find the fees exceedingly high. This is not to say that opening a bank account is a bad idea, but at the very beginning is not necessarily a priority for most. This is because services such as WISE allow travelers to send and receive money in and out of the Philippines with minimal fees. Additionally, you can request an ATM card depending on the type of account that you have with WISE. In the description below, I've added the full link to WISE and WISE was previously known as TransferWISE. Stage 4. Find your property. In Stage 1, we investigated your your budget. At stage 4, we're also investigating, but instead we turn our focus to real estate. Most travellers find a nice hotel or an Airbnb to stay in for a week or two once they arrive in the Philippines. This allows them to find a nice property within the area. However, you can also find property before starting your new life in the Philippines. There are several real estate property websites in the Philippines, and many agents post their listings on all of these websites. However, looking for the most recent and best deals using Facebook groups is your best option. Many local Filipinos use Facebook when renting real estate and you will often find the lowest prices and special promotions using this method. Stage 5. Get accessible. Once you've found your property and you are in the Philippines, the next stage is to be accessible. As an expat living in the Philippines, you may decide to rent or purchase a vehicle or you may decide to rely on public transportation. Of course, both options have their pros and cons, but ensuring accessibility in your new location is essential for the next stage. Stage 6. Find the essentials. So one of the first questions you may be wondering is what are the essentials? While living in the Philippines, I've discovered that many expats from America, Canada, UK, Australia, etc. have essentials that they need while living in the Philippines. Essentials can be anything such as products, services or even buildings. For example, a good friend of mine, God bless him, who's now in his 80s, wishes to live close to a hospital, which is his essential place. Others may choose a gym, a convenience store or even close to a golf course. What I'm saying is that we all have essentials that are important to us. And when we move to the Philippines, it's important to take this into account during the moving process. 